Hi, my name is Edith Ray with Radiant and today we're going to make a brain tonic tincture. So uh, plants are very interesting. Plants have different affinities which means they work on different um, systems in our body and on different organs. And uh, I work with seniors and so I see a lot of uh, dementia, Alzheimer's and I really want to keep uh, my brain and the brain of the people around me healthy and so I studied uh, which herbs help the brain and the circulation to the brain and the memory and concentration and so uh, we're gonna throw together a few herbs that have an affinity for our brain and make a tincture out of it that we will take uh, over a week so these things don't work from today you won't wake up tomorrow morning as Einstein but if you take it over a period of time you will see an improvement uh, in your memory and concentration so let's dig into it so one of the most amazing uh, plants it's actually a tree for the brain is ginkgo biloba and I've actually seen the trees here in Vancouver but they, they grow uh, they come from Asia and they are a cerebral and circulatory stimulant. We use the leaves. So we're going to take four tablespoons of ginkgo and put it into our jar. So the next amazing brain plant that we're going to use is sage. And I'm pretty sure all of you know sage and have used it in the kitchen. And I actually grow it in my garden. It's very easy to grow. And here you can see the dried version of it. We put two tablespoons of sage into our brain tincture. So sage is from the mint family and it contains a lot of volatile oils that contain ketones which improve mental clarity. The third ingredient we're going to use is peppermint and the menthol stimulates the hippocampus of the brain which controls mental clarity and memory. The fourth last herb we're going to use in our tincture is rosemary which is an amazing uh, brain herb. It also increases the flow uh, to your brain and helps with memory and recall and uh, concentration. And we're going to put that into our glass. In order to extract all the chemicals, the properties we want from these plants, we need to have a solvent and traditionally the solvent would be alcohol so it would be vodka or brandy or rum uh, but there's another option you can also use apple cider vinegar if you don't want to use alcohol and, or if you want to use it for kids so um, I'm going to use apple cider vinegar today make sure that it's unfiltered with the mother and all we're going to do is fill up our jar of herbs with the solvent. So either alcohol or apple cider vinegar and we close the jar and shake it and now we're going to let this sit for about six to eight weeks to let um, the apple cider vinegar extract the properties from the plants. I made this brain tincture six weeks ago, so today is the big day when I will strain it and I can taste it for the first time. So we're going to strain it into another jar. And we want to get all the goodness out. And voila, we made our own brain tincture. And now what you're going to do, you can use every day just maybe half a teaspoon, very little, of this tincture. Half to one teaspoon. And you put it in a glass of water. So you can take one shot in the morning and one in the afternoon. I really feel smarter. 